First year UWI accounting student Dexter Smith's conservative approach continues to pay off in week three of the Young Investors Stock Market competition. He maintains the lead. Dexter is surgically precise in his selection of stocks at this time, selling as he makes a profit and opting to hold the smallest but manageable portfolio. He sold his Sagicor Live Jamaica shares and his portfolio, which contains one Mayberry investment share, remains at $119,204. Significantly, Dexter's UWI counterpart, Kamala Bailey, is keeping in touch, albeit some distance away. She has increased her portfolio by over $1,200, and that is now worth $103,207. Kamala's early strategy is a stark contrast to Dexter's. She has opted to increase the number of stocks in her portfolio, which now stands at an amazing 17 stocks, or about a third of what's listed on the Jamaica Stock Exchange. She increased her holdings in Grace Kennedy, Jamaica Producers, Caribbean Cement, and Capital and Credit Financial Group. She has sold her careers, Pan-Caribbean, and Kingston Wharves shares. Kingston Technical's Nikila Smith lies in third position and actually increased her portfolio by $763 this week. She was very active in the market, increasing her careers and Jamaica Brawler shareholdings and adding Scotia DBG, JMMB, and Lascelles de Mercado to her portfolio. A very active Nikila sold some of her Seprod, Scotia DBG, Scotia Group, and Gleaner shares. Her portfolio is now worth $98,666. Like Kamala, Nikila has a large, highly diversified number of stocks, including 200 Carreras, 200 Grace Kennedys, 100 Lascelles, 100 Sagicor Life Jamaica, 400 Jamaica Broilers, 100 NCB, 100 Scotia Group, and 100 JMMB. Here are the standings in week three of actual competition. In first position, Dexter Smith. In second position, Kamala Bailey. And in third position, Kingston Technicals, Nikila Smith. <laughs>